hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to talk about the zenmo tsrs active aerodynamics so first we will go into the brief of active aerodynamics what is it and how it is affecting the track performance of this car and let's get started so first you are watching this wing yes so this is the aero aeroactive dynamic part right so what is active aerodynamic basically I, I am showing you some examples uh, before going into the brief of that so first one is a 9 over 8 Porsche second one is a Lamborghini Huracan third one is a basic layout of active aerodynamic parts active aerodynamic parts and fourth one is a basic so CFD simulation of a Lotus hypercar so basically active aerodynamics is a set of motorized part that aiming to balance and competing for aerodynamic needs like increasing the downforce increasing the stability of the car and improve the braking performance so this will ensure the trade-off between the efficiency and the downforce achieved in a particular driving situation right so as the car uh, you you know the car have become faster over the years right so their aerodynamic efficiency has become the major crucial part because the amount of power needed to propel a car at a high speed rises with a cube of the speed. So the faster you are going, the more power it takes to go in more faster, right? So uh, basically this, uh, this one is a ALA system of the Lamborghini. This one is a active grille shutters, right? Front grille shutters, you can say. And these are some under tray analysis and the rear diffusers are included also the front grille shutter over here as well so this is the basic uh, cfd simulation of the lotus hypercar next one is the drag coefficient the major point of uh, defining the best aerodynamic machine all over the world like a uh, koenig zeg is ruling the industry of aerodynamics the bugatti and uh, all hypercar company like ssc ssc and uh, hnsc so these are some hypercars that is uh, having the more aerodynamic car oh, at a very very high speed like a 300 mile per hour they are breaking the records as well so let's get back to the point and this is the how you can define the uh, drag coefficient by calculating the uh, drag force the area and the velocity as well and also the uh, density of air you can include so this this is how you can calculate the drag coefficient so i am listing down the some car manufacturers uh, which you have not heard about maybe which uh, that's why i am including those uh, car manufacturers their uh, car having the lowest cd so lucid air the porsche audi and bmws so you can write down those parts and the drag coefficient and you can learn about this car as well how the uh, car is based aerodynamic efficient right so let's get back to the point again and how the wing is actually working so for zenvo it is a gambit for attention is a it's a centripetal wing this one so the big wings have a long fascinated so the company decided to go it with a step further and add two hydraulics actuators which is moving and a couple of hinges to the car's rear wing so that it flaps around while you are driving right and also the ground braking rear wing has two rotational axes over here and uh, about the longitudinal axis of the car and also it helps the as a air brake and as well as the cornering stabilizer so whenever it corners the wing rotates relative to car longitudinal axis and this generates an inward force together and the conventional downforce boosting the inner tri grip and the cornering stability so using two hydraulics over here hydraulics to the pivot and the large re rear wing up that is a very large and side by side it 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 can be held as a brilliant device to maximize the grip so what is the theory behind it anyone think of it like while cornering the inside tire the inside rear tire has a fewer forces pushing into the track surface so Zenvo's tilting wing attempts to compensate by pulling the wing down this one pulling the wing down and out of the airstream 
on the most loaded side and using the portion standing tall in the way to apply the down force to the least loaded tire loaded rear tire right so here the line goes like hey the loaded tire is in a good shape but what about the inside tire that isn't working as hard as me so let's take rear down force away from the loaded side and apply it to the that one that lakes a bit and boom both rear tires are working very hard and we are cornering even more faster in a track okay in the magical world of isolation that doesn't exist the zenvo's rear wing is a cure of all in reality where the driver needs an acceptable chassis balance to go quickly around the corners it's ignoring one of the true engineering basics that is diagonal forces so tilting the wing will change the down force uh, it produces on each side an impact a roll moment reacted from the center of pressure of this car uh, that is uh, said by jeff brown itself that he is the championship winning race engineer whose experience spans the indy car nascar IMSA right so you can see aero forces work at a right angles for me if you go into the right handed the wing lean left the wing leans the left uh, it falling due to the g forces so we are showing the, some figures this is the in the stable condition there is no corners this in this is the straight uh, car is going yes and the yes you can see uh, while i am steering in the right direction so it will push the wing left in the left right so the airflow is uh, reoriented and helping to air pressure down through the stanchions so back towards the inside of the car while the pitch of the wing varies infinitely depending on the wide range of parameters like a speed g forces acceleration and the brakes the wing leans to straight to the 15 degrees either way activated one it detects the 0.5 g of forces lateral loading it is i am talking about the lateral loading of a 0.5 g then pulled briskly over by the hydraulic rams so developed in the conjunction with aerotech and a danish company that also did the aero work on the koenigsegg 1 2 1 Zenvo limits the down force to a maximum of 270 kg by varying the wing's angle of attack right the airfoil i'm we are talking about so these are the scenario of uh, left hand side condition while you are turning it to the left side it will forces the wing down on the right side as well right so this helps to uh, do the better cornering and uh, improve the braking performance So this is not a track only hypercar through. Zenvo sees itself to more along side of a Koenigsegg or Pagani. There, uh, like a McLaren Senna GTR, the rear wing is a handy USP for it for this company and the main mission to deliver the unforgettable driving experience by Zenvo. So yes, it is actually working. And so. here i have told you the numbers as well so this wing is actually working and in future i will come up with a cfd simulation of this car where the three scenarios we will talk about like a first scenario is a uh, going into the straight line second one is a uh, i am turning into the right direction the for and the uh, wing is tilted towards the left direction it is leaned uh, leaned like a uh, 15 degrees and detects the 0.5 g of lateral loading and also third scenario we will talk about in the left so in the future video we will talk about that so uh, this is all for this uh, video and uh, keep sharing keep supporting and we will come up this uh, like uh, we will come up with another video like this and thank you for support keep sharing